Good afternoon and welcome to Baku. This was the arena, if you think back to 2017, of one of the most eventful races of modern history, with controversy behind the safety car, last second overtakes, and a historic podium for Williams and for Lance Stroll. So let's find out what lies in store for us this year. It's time for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Baku City Circuit then, an unpredictable 3.7 mile track around the streets of the Azerbaijan capital. 20 turns for our drivers to navigate today, including the infamous Turn 8, one of the tightest and most challenging corners of the season. Also here, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Now I want to ask you about Sergio Perez. Looks like they've got a tough race in store today as grid penalties from changing power unit components has forced them further down the field. Everyone has to deal with penalties or reliability issues from time to time throughout their career. You just have to suck up the pain and get on with the job at hand. Today isn't about performing a miracle to put the car back where it should be. It's about effective damage limitation. With that then, let's run through the grid order. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position. And Kimi Raikkonen completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Ricardo, Max Verstappen, and Bottas, Hülkenberg, Sainz, Alonso, and Charles Leclerc, Van Dorn, Ocon, Pierre Gasly, and Grosjean, Stroll, and Williams, Sergio Perez, and Marcus Ericsson, Hartley, and Kevin Magnussen rounds off the grid. Now, Yeah, F1 
Stay out, we can work on a fix remotely.
approach, you will see a notification of the pit lane speed limit and your
the safety back and look at the box room. Safety car in this lap. Safety car in this lap. Let's make sure those tires are up to temperature and remember there is no overtaking until the first safety car line. Stay in position until the green flags. Two point four 
seconds.
this big hole. Absolute perfection. There are so many factors to worry about once the race is neutralized. Do you hit the fresh rubber? Do you have the space behind you? How much fuel can you save? If you answer all of those questions correctly, you'll have a good chance. That's exactly what happened today. So as I say that, we can see the drivers coming out now to collect their trophies. It's yet more silverware to take back to their base in Brackley after another excellent Grand Prix. And after this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. Lewis Hamilton takes over the lead of the driver's championship after an excellent result. And now I'd like to ask you, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? Oh, maybe Marcus Ericsson? Yes, yes, I think I'll commit to that one. Marcus Ericsson, fine job, very consistent. And now let's take a look at the constructors' standings. Mercedes have extended their lead at the top of the standings. Another team that will be satisfied with this Grand Prix is Salva, whose good results moves them further up the championship. It was great having you with us for this weekend. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Until next time, though, goodbye. Ale pevné vizice je nesmírně z budoucích pozic, takže pátý nakonec nikdo nikdo šestý Carlos Sainz, sedmý Max Verstappen, osmý teda Marcus Ericsson, devátý Fernando Alonso a desátý Brandon Hartley. A byl by tam už zmíněn můj Filip, můj Angelia, F261, pak můj Pion Taxi, Esteban Oko, Lenstrol, Charles Leclerc a Sichel Pérez taky pěti sekundová penalizace. Za to jiné byly Kevin Marusen, Stefan Fandor, Roman Kozak a Daniel Ricciardo. Také pro celkovou hru jsem měl Louis Hamilton. A je jeden jediný bod na čele před Kevin Reichmanem, třetí Vázelý Bodas, čtvrtý Sebastian Fleckel, na housu posunul Nikola Kinder, Daniel Ricciardo z pátého místa ve Slejbič, pojďme s Ricciardem dva druhý týmový kolegy je mají, přestávací bodů. Sedmý Max Verstappen, z 20 body, osmý Carlos Sainz, bodu 17. Se dostal minimálně i on, Fernanda Alonza. 
to máme za sobou desátý Grimmel se dneska tedy bez bodů, který jak Romain Grosjean. No a pak hodně nám se posunul Markus Eriksson se čtyřmi body. Třináctý v Café Fandle, čtrnáctý Esteban Ocon, patnáctý Sirkel Perez, šestnáctý Brandon Marshall, poslední tři jmenovaní. Po jednom bodu. A bez bodu Lance Stroll, F2 si šest zady na čili já, Pierre Gasly a Charles Leclerc. Ale před námi je ještě... Máme se budu tebou čtvrt právě, před námi je ještě další sedmnáct. Ale to je... To je to není rychlotí Williams. Poslední tým, co nemá bod. Ale věřím, že... Do tu dostaneme. Zalbu tedy pomyskočil na sedmé místo tu Fast Indy. Dváte toho s osadním bodem a bez mu pouze Williams. Já tím, že jste si toho nic nezměnil. The fans really seem to enjoy that. You made it look easy. Your team must be ecstatic with how you're performing. You were cutting your way through the field during the race. You left a lot of paint on the walls today. Were you struggling for grip or did you just misjudge some corners? Appreciate your time. Tak jak se to udělat s tou modákou mého týmu? Tak Lens Rom měl rychlejší kolo, ale stále by druhý valit to na tlece stole. Kolik bodů? Tak to je 857! Cíl o získu bodu se mi nepoved. Tvrdaný forcing je Renor a ház. Přijde podat se. Excellent result today. Finishes like that will look good on your contract reviews. On to the next one. Here we can adjust the terms of our proposal. The more ambitiously we set our targets, the more willing the team will be to give us better perks. We'll have a few chances to suggest a deal, but we need to be careful. If a proposed contract exceeds your value to the team, it will be rejected, and too many attempts will leave us stuck with the original offer. Easy, dumb, medium. I read that all do not hard, do not hard. They aren't coming round to that proposal. Let's try something else. Jesus is needed now, but it's not. 
They didn't like those terms. Let's try again. All right, the terms have been agreed. All that's left is to sign the paperwork. You'll be on this new deal from the next race weekend. Všechno. Game PC si stále nemůžu nastavit. Jsi jde do Sponělska a já se s vámi pro tuto chvíli loučím. Jdi se na sedanou.